Fellow executives, it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to the future of law enforcement. Ed 209. seconds to comply. Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. And the subject of this video is the Hiya Toys Electronic Ed 209. And I totally blame Bert the Stormtrooper for this purchase. I never even heard of Haya Toys until I watched his video review. And after him showing off Ed 209, I had to get one. Because Robocop is one of my all-time favorite movies. To this day, I feel that it really still stands up. I love the special effects, especially with Ed 209. I just feel the stop motion adds to the character. And... I just love it. RoboCop is such a great movie, and it's kind of a weird comparison to today. I mean, a very unique look at our possible future. And speaking of future, check out this really cool Synthwave t-shirt that I just got from Into the AM, this video's sponsor. Into the AM offers a wide variety of men's graphic tees, basic tees, joggers, hats, and various other apparel. And what I like about them is their graphic t-shirts. I am a t-shirt guy. I've got a closet full of tees, and I really love unique designs. I hate going out to the store and buying a graphic tee that I know I'm gonna see three or four other people in town wearing. And Into the AM has a great selection of my type of tee, this 80s retro look, along with various others, and I love them. They fit so good. I am a big guy. I am six foot four, 260 pounds, and finding a t-shirt that fits me good is kind of a chore. These fit good on the neck, the arms, the chest, and there's plenty of length, so when I raise my arms, you're not gonna see my gut. Plus, I really love the fabric of these t-shirts. They're a nice 60-40 cotton blend that's very breathable, as you can see my face right there which is really good for these hot summer days. I love these t-shirts. So check out Into the AM and use my product link in the description below to get 10% off your entire purchase. Once again, big shout out and thank you to Into the AM for sponsoring this video. So now taking a quick look at the packaging, we've got uh, Ed 209 right here on the front of the box, RoboCop, RoboCop Ed 209. This side of the box has two different shots of Ed 209. This side has RoboCop right there walking away from Ed 209. That's the scene at the end of the movie after he blows the top of Ed 209 off. And back of the box is the same as the front. So now, without further ado, let's get this killer robot all opened up and out of the package. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> My first impressions after opening Ed 209 here is holy crap. Look at the amount of detail on this figure. He looks absolutely amazing. I mean, even down to the fine details right here, such as the wiring, and that's actual wires. This is not painted plastic. Those are wires. That is so cool. He's got the nice textured dome that he's very well known for. Got a little smudges right there. I can probably clean that up. No big deal whatsoever. He's got his grill. I mean, the sculpted details just blow me away. You got the wires here on this side. Got the nice details up here. Got the wires along the top. And he looks like he's got some scoring. Maybe where they were those bullet holes. Nah, just little designs. Got a little bit of scoring around it, like he's been, you know, made in the factory. This thing is just awesome. We got more wires down here. 
Let's see, those. Okay, those are sculpted and painted. Those aren't wires like up here on top with the arms. Man, I love the looks of this thing. This is impressive. I mean, it's the details are just all over. Underneath, damn. <laughs> this is something else. Now, he does have a, quite a bit of articulation, too. At least articulation for Ed 209 is the upper section here. Can rotate back and forth. It does stop because this section here is squared. So that's as much as you're going to get. Now, as far as the arms are concerned, he's got these little shoulder flaps that move up and down. But the arms themselves do not raise up and down, just the shoulder flaps. You can rotate them up and down like so, which is pretty cool. And the forearms rotate. Remember in the movie when he rotated around to fire the missiles? And check this out. Look at the details for the missiles. That is so cool. The hazard striping, the little wires there, the paint applications on this figure is amazing. You got the barrels of the guns. This thing looks so cool. Trying to see if these things move like they did in the movie. They do not. Let's see. Going on back to more articulation, the legs can rotate back and forth. The toes can move. That way, if he's walking downstairs, he can feel and make sure he's not going to fall. And then he's got these extensions right here that also move, though they are a little tight and they're on a ratchet. So check that out. You can actually make him a little bit taller. Like he, in the movie, he was kind of like that other than when he was turned off. When he was turned off, he kind of slid down into place like so. So I guess you could make him really tall if you want to. So you've got that going on, but that's kind of goofy. He kind of looks like an ATST now, but I like the fact... Oh, check this out. Didn't even notice this. You got the details, the screw, whatever that's called to help the RT. I don't know. I'm not technical. He's got details on the inside of the leg. That's really cool. Bring that down back into his starting position. I love this figure. Bert, you were right. This is an amazing toy. Now, I did mention earlier that he is electronic. And if we look on this side right here, there is a little button. You press this for his sounds. And he has three sounds. Let me see if I can get close enough so you can hear these. There he was opening fire. Okay, that's him just walking into the office. And the last one. <laughs> now, I do wish the sounds were a little louder. You guys probably heard him real good because I put him right up against the microphone, but just having him out, like far away, let's see. That one's good. But that one, I wish, I wish that one was a little bit louder, but still, this thing is awesome. It just looks great. So now let's do some quick size comparisons of Ed 209 here with NECA's T-800 Terminator, Generation 1 Optimus Prime, and Masters of the Universe Origins Battle Armor Skeletor as a wide variety of size comparisons. So there you go, guys. Hiya Toys, Ed 209. So, does a Hiya Toys, Ed 209 belong in your collection? Well, if you're a RoboCop fan like I am, Absolutely. I was blown away by the amount of details on this little figure. And his price isn't bad, too. I picked him up on Amazon for around $35. So a good figure for a good price that's going to look great on my display. My only complaints with the figure, I wish the sounds were louder. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. 
Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I have a new super thanks button. I also offer channel memberships, and I want to give a huge shout out to my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Also, another shout out to Into the AM for sponsoring this video. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!